In this video, we're going to take a look at the cut list features of Cabinet Solutions. I'm starting with the empty job and I'm going to draw a wall and uh, place a cabinet which I'm going to customize. Uh, let's go with a 48 inch base cabinet. Uh, this is what I have so far uh, and I am going to, I'm actually going to go into face frame so I'm going to go to standards, adjust job standards, face frame. Okay. I'm going to click the cabinet. I, in my elevation I can view the cabinet w without doors like I have now or, or with doors just by changing the checkbox. Okay, so I'm going to click the cabinet, go to center style, uh, properties, I want the, the center style to have a partition behind it and to split the bottom top stretcher nailer back. Ex okay, I'll accept that. Continue. Each time I click I'm going to split this cabinet. I just want to do it one time so I'll click once. Okay, done. Now I'm going to go to openings and rollouts opening for edit selected opening I'm going to change that opening from a single door with hinges on right to a drawer except I'm going to uh, add center rails to split this drawer with center rails between the different drawers so I'll go to center rail I can go with this default size from my standards or change it defaults fine continue now each time I click on drawer number four it's going to split Okay, done. Now, uh, from the cust from this uh, customize from this cabinet editor view, I can v click view assembly sheet, and uh, this gives me a uh, description of each one of the openings, A through F, and their sizes. I've got uh, uh, for o opening 2A I have a actual dado location that's the opening above the fixed shelf dado depth and location for doors uh, do my doors and drawer fronts, I got all the overall sizes and what material was used. Face frame cut list, because I'm in face frame. And my box parts down below. And there's another type of cut list we can view. I'll click done. There's a cut list without the drawing. To get that, I'll go to print, uh, master cut list. And I can view the cut list in sections like I can view just the box parts for example let's preview that it's separated by mat by material all my three-quarter red oak separate from my three-quarter inch melamine and so on from uh, widest part to narrowest part within the groups scroll down for you okay I can also go to my master cut list and just view everything at the same time. Uh, first, uh, before I do that, let's look at overall sizes for doors, door fronts versus individual sizes for the door and door fronts parts. Preview that. So, under door sizes, I got all my doors. In just case, I just have one door in this job. Uh, my door fronts. There's. Uh, three of one size, two of another. The cutlass groups them together to save space. So and then it tells me I got uh, uh, for cabinet one, there's three parts, cabinet uh, three parts of this first size. For cabinet two, no, for cabinet one, there's two parts of the other size. Then it breaks the uh, doors and drawer fronts out part by part 
panels, styles, and rails. So you got the overall sizes so you can order the doors and door fronts and then you got individual sizes if you're making them. It works both ways. If you just want to print a huge cut list with everything, you can go to master cut list, select all, and then print. We'll print preview. And this just has everything combined. Face frame parts, box parts, doors and drawer fronts, overall sizes, individual part sizes, everything. Uh, you can download some sample cut lists on the Cabinet Solutions uh, overview page on the website. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can call us at 574-968-8142 or send an email to sales at customcabinetsoftware.com. Thank you.